Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Baco 244P XT handsaw. So guys, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about this Baco 244P XT saw. I've owned it for the last four months. Um, it still stayed as sharp as a day I bought it. Um, and the biggest attraction to me to start off with was the colour. Whenever I went in Wix's, Screwfix, um, b &Q, etc, home base, whenever I saw this saw it always used to catch my eye. Um, and also the blue blade. Now you DIYs out there may not be able to relate to this but people in the trade, um, electricians, carpenters, plumbers, handyman etc. Um, the saw gave me the feeling of looking more professional. Well, I hope I'm as professional as I can be. What I mean by that is, you know when you first started out, you can remember all the way back then, um, you had media tools, um, you are probably just running around in jeans and a t-shirt because you couldn't afford a uniform straight away. Um, you didn't have a van or your van wasn't that great, but the more and more work you got in, the more tools you bought, better tools, better uniform, etc. It made you feel more professional, made you look more professional. And um, purchasing the saw actually gave me that feeling again. Um, so that was the first biggest bonus to me, just made me look even more professional than I am. Good conversation start with your customers because they always ask, why is that saw blue? Um, and then it just sort of breaks that barrier up between some customers who are afraid to just have a quick chat with you. Um, um, it's dead funny, it's like a conversation starter. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's easy to shout to any of your labourers, can you chuck me my blue saw and they know exactly which saw it is. Um, but put all that to the side, we want to get into the nitty gritty about saw, so we're going to start off with the blade. So guys, this blue coating isn't just to make the saw look pretty, um, it's actually an anti-corrosion um, coating to stop the blade from rusting because this blade is actually suited to be used in wet weather which has been awesome over the winter. I've had so many fence posts to repair, it's been crazy. Um, also the blade is actually thicker than a standard saw blade which gives it that nice stability and rigidity um, when cutting. And also Baco have this special unique XT tubing um, where if we can get it up on camera, is every third tooth is actually offset. I think you can actually see the slight offset on the blade. I mean, my camera's not picking up very well. Try again, see if we can get it. Well, I mean, my oh, you can just just make out the offset. Well, what the offset does. It actually helps with, once you've started your cut line, it actually keeps your saw on track and stops it from veering off, um, which helps loads. Also, it's um, got hard point teeth, um, which actually keep it nice and sharp. So like I said, I've had mine for four months now, and the teeth are pretty sharp still. Well, I'd say as sharp as the day I bought it. The only place the coatings wore off is on the points of the teeth, which is... Um, expected um, but other than that the blue coating which gives you good anti-friction against your material has lasted pretty well and I've not lost any of it yet. Um, the only downside is sometimes this blue coating will transfer onto the wood um, you can just fettle that down with a bit of sandpaper but I'll show you um, some of that later and we'll move on to the handle. So guys, moving on to the handle, you get your typical 90 and 45 degree markers, which most standard saws come with. Um, still your three points where it's screwed to the blade to give it good stability. Um, in the four months, it's not come loose, um, and I've found that with other Baco saws I've used, the, blade, the handle actually stays pretty solid to the blade, whereas some saws, the handle seem to come loose. If you're a die-hard Baco user and you don't like this handle, you can actually change one of your old handles onto this blade, which is fantastic. I kind of like this new handle, handle Baco use. 
A um, bit chunkier, which is nice in my hand because I've got quite a wide palm. As you can see, chunky fingers, sausage fingers. But it's very comfortable. This blue coating here is anti-slip, which has been fantastic through the winter, like I said, cutting all those um, fence posts. And plenty of room to put your finger, um, index finger, to keep you on the right track. Um, but all in all, the handle is pretty straightforward, just a bit chunkier than the traditional backhoe handles. And like I said, if you don't like the feel of this, don't worry, because you can just unscrew it and put your old handle onto this blade. Um, so now we're going to move on to seeing the saw in action. to show you how well the saw performs. Um, it was just bits of scrap I'd laying around, <coughs> um, but um, it did pretty good, to be honest. The only time it snagged was a bit, if you can see, like you saw in the video, was on the fence post. That fence post was absolutely, absolutely wet through. Um, we just recently, when I recorded this video, um, we had a lot of rain um, in England, which is always a typical thing. Um, but other than that, it was just a little bit of a snag. Still went through like butter, so it does exactly what it says on the tin. The only issue I had, well, I have with it, like I've said previously when we're talking about the blade, was that you get a transfer of the material, the anti-friction material, onto the actual wood face where you've cut. Um, it's not a big issue when it's a fence post because it's going to get a cap on it anyway. But if it, if it was anything internal, I would just rub it down with a bit of sandpaper. Thankfully, the coating does not stain. It just seems to just transfer onto the face and you can just get rid of it. So that's a good thing. Also, um, <coughs> some people might be thinking, is the saw suitable for cross cutting and rip cutting? Um, the saw can do both, but Baco actually have designed a saw um, especially for ripping and cross cut, well ripping mostly because um, cross cutting most saws can do that where you cut across the grain which you do anyway when you're cutting posts etc but rip cutting is when you're following the grain if you didn't know that um, so like I said back I actually do a saw for that purpose and I'll leave a link to that in the, in the um, description box below um, and also some of you might be thinking, is it any good for cutting insulation? Um, some people have asked me this before, can you cut insulation with it? Well, I've cut insulation with it, and it does cut it, 
but you get a lot of waste, um, a lot of dust everywhere. Backhoe again do actual saw for this purpose, um, the backhoe insulation saw, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But it will cut insulation. It is a good round saw, it gives you a medium to coarse cut, so it's not any uh, sec it's not really a second fix saw, it's between a first and a second fix, it sits along those lines. Um, still clean cut, it's not like a crappy cut. And um, UPVC, I've been cutting that just recently, and it does cut that, but it does make a bit of a mess um, on the edges. Um, if you just bear with me, I'm just going to get peace. So as you can see, um, it's sort of, try and get close to the camera, bit of a rough cut. But I mean, this part of the um, UPVC soffit, you're not going to see because it gets capped over. Um, it does snag a bit, but like I said, Baco do an insulation saw. That is for insulation and UPVC. It does cover UPVC. That saw cuts like a knife, so you really get any waste from it, which is fantastic, especially when it's insulation. You don't want dust flying everywhere. Um, but all in all, um, the actual verdict on the, the Baco is I think it's an absolutely fantastic saw. Um, if you love the colour, definitely, it just looks the bee's knees. Um, but as an everyday saw, it's fantastic. It won't let you down. The only gripe I've got with it is the actual sleeve um, that the saw comes in. A crappy cardboard sleeve, which is wearing out already. Um, you think a saw of that price range would come with an actual plastic tooth protector. It would have been a bonus. I mean, I've got a smaller backhoe that I use for laminate flooring, and that comes with a nice plastic tooth guard. I wish this one would. So, backhoe, if you're watching this video, you need to start releasing them with better covers, even if it's a vinyl cover, because I think in this day and age, these cardboard covers are just as bad as chucking away, well, it's just as bad as putting your saw in a box of Kellogg's Frosties, waste of time. So if you're watching this back out, you need to get back to the drawing board and sort these sleeves out. <coughs> but all in all, fantastic saw folks. I'll leave you a link to the saw um, in the description box below. That'll send you to Amazon. Um, it's a pretty good price on there as well. And if you're a Prime member, as you all know, you'll get it next day. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the review. And if you, any of you are using this saw, so please leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. And I hope to see you all in the next videos.